But I think we have a listener submission. Yeah. So I went to the Twice concert with, with Todd. And while we were yeah, sitting in the bar the going show. home, he kept saying like, man, you guys need to, you K-pop cast, you guys need to do a deep dive on Stacy." Because <laughs> I guess he got an early preview of the song. Yeah. And um, I don't know. We listened to it. We thought it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough for a deep dive, but but, but hey, we like it. But um, anyway, so I told Todd like, "Hey, send in a recording, and we, we can uh, talk about it." So that's exactly what he did, and this is what he had to say. Perfect. Hey, K Popcast listeners, it's your boy Todd, Hi, Todd. and here's why Stacy's Run to You is my hit replay. It's like this: ASAP was bubblegum flavored soda pop, pure sugar rush. Stereotype was a nice americano, refreshing and buzzing. Run to You Ooh. is Gatorade vodka. It's spiked punch. There's a sweetness <laughs> and a fluorescent day-glow kick to it. Stacy keeps moving things forward, and that's what I love about them. Their individual personalities and talents are so different, and they consistently make great songs, and that's what sets them apart. Yeah, I miss the... Stacy guys is going to... Drop. It's their trademark. It's like the blunt flare sound on Little Wayne songs or Metro Boomin and Murder on the Beat drops. But people gotta calm down. See, Girls, It's Going Down is in the next song. Same, same. So chill on that <laughs> mm. and look forward to their next concept. Todd has such a good way with words. <laughs> I love it. So visual. Yeah. It's mm, like he's a Gatorade writer or something. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing? Yes. Quick, quick side note. Um, Todd's review of uh, the Twice concert, it, it totally blew up. Like, JYP loved it. Mm. Even though he gave, like, a critique, like, hey, they should have had live musical instruments. And oh, anyway. Yeah. Um, backing up, um, just qu- really quick background on Stacy. Todd already gave a bit of a background, but Stacy stands for Star to a-, a Young Culture. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. That's that's news. That's something Michaela didn't but, know. What? That's that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're they're formed by High Up Entertainment, um, and uh, this this song "Run to You" is lead single off their sophomore album "Young Hyphen Love L U V dot com," like a web address. It, it, it's the name <laughs> of the album. But if you actually go to it, it's Young a really cool website. Com. But there's not a lot on it. But it, it's like a lot of videos to the album. Um, Ooh, and the okay. members said that they wanted to present a new image of Stacey with this album and the public, and can realize that what we have to show is not all we have. The key message is the passion for love based on our daring spirit. So bad showed immature love, a sap craving for someone to love. Stereotype showed building our ego and run to you shows the actions that we will run to our love without worrying about <laughs> what others think. So I totally get what Todd is saying about the. I'm sorry. Are these Gatorade just AI and... generated at this point? I'm sorry. Because <laughs> like, how many times have we heard? This? Like a bag of bag of words they're, model, yeah. No, there, it, yeah, there's totally a about, site that does that. Like, yeah, it will yeah. help you generate articles. Are like you talking you about copy the AI SEO or words? Uh, and like the exactly, topic, and it'll spit it out for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We need a we need to take uh, GPT three, fine tune it on um, K pop interviews, and, and come back the yep. and we can get a lot of fun. Yeah, especially okay. yeah, song and, lyric and explanation. One the K descriptions, you know, the ones in like the bottom of the music mm-hmm. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially those. Honestly, I don't know why someone hasn't done this yet. Someone needs to uh, in the ML right? NLP writing community to go write a paper on that. Also, mm-hmm. a quick side fun note so black eyed pill song is like the genius behind right. like creating all these like catchy bops um so great that he's doing his own thing with this company but you can see that he uses ableton in the production Ooh. of the song which we also use for this podcast okay so wow. i'll hand it over to you pdm <laughs> that's a connection we're like the same uh, yeah exactly the same we're, we're yeah. just in the same level yes. of black eyed pill uh, song uh, exactly yes Yes, the producer of 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 hits like like Ua and Cheer Up and TT and Fancy. We are on the same level. <laughs> exactly. No big totally. deal. Yeah. Okay, ready, listeners. If you're gonna hit play in three, two, one. This is Stacy's run to you, by the way. I don't look like that when I run. See, I'm not I'm not as familiar with Stacy yet. Like I'm still I'm still getting used to the I members. But they they killed it last year. They're just year. all so pretty. We oh, nominated yeah. them for a few awards Ultimate on our catchy. end of your show. Mm-hmm. Ooh, some hip action. Hearts Skills. everywhere. And you can see hearts recurring theme throughout the entire thing, which they're running to. Yeah, hearts. 
But I love like even this fine details, like when you get the like the bokeh effect or whatever, mm-hmm. like or the particles right at the end. Mm-hmm. They use a frame or a filter such that it makes the those sparkles even heart shapes. Even. Oh. oh wow! I want those gloves. She's trapped in a globe. Very warrior oh, she's in a Cupid. snow globe. I just noticed that what she's got the mean? the bow and arrow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's Cupid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Freaking out. Lots of oh, this is cute. I love this musical drop. It's like yeah. quirky. It's weird, but catchy. It's the Black Eyed Pills song doing his mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like off and dissonant like some other groups out there. <clears throat> it's coherent. I mean, it, it's soft, and, and it's like, you know, it, it's definitely spiked Gatorade or, or whatever it was. Yeah. That, like a yeah, fruity it's like drink. That. And like the, the, the mm. little bit, little, it's like like fuzz. It's like fizz. It's like twinkly. And... Oh, I like this song. I'm not a poser. <laughs> she poses. Oh, got the la di like motorcycles <laughs> again. <laughs> the Sin City. Mm-hmm. Big budget for artificial right. flowers. Mm. Pre chorus. Let's hear that drop. They made it look like Cupid shot an arrow and exploded a pinata of flowers raining down. And on I the like other how members. they had that, that drop in the at music the same too, time at the drop. Yeah, yeah, the arrow yeah. punctures, whatever it was. Yeah. Isn't she just freeing she, herself? She, she's escaping the tunnel of love. <laughs> oh, they're running toward love. They're, they're running. They're oh, running. Sorry. Running. Oh, right. It's run to you. I mean, I would like some people to now run to Now we've got some snaps. Love. You see that One book of my favorite K-pop scene, elements? Peter. <laughs> oh, just for a few seconds. See the hearts in the back? The lights? There it is. That instrumental wow. drop. I love it. It's fun. It's quirky. Yeah, I like it too. I, I notice something new next every time I listen to it. See, look, look at those particles mm. in the background. You see those little hearts? Mm. Here, yeah. you, you'll start to see it here too. Yeah, yes, you see yes. that? Uh huh. That's a nice touch. Oh, right there. yeah. Is that a siren or is that in my house? Yeah, I know. It's definitely that a siren. A siren. Yeah. <laughs> it's a siren kind of thing. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh I like it. Oh, yeah. The S for it's, the pose. It's an emergency. We got to get there. Mm-hmm. I, for for a song about running to you, they run really slowly. It's a bullet time, Virginia. <laughs> it's bullet time running. Actually, to that point, I was just thinking like, man, it would have been so cool if they like stopped and froze and like went around them, Ooh, you know, like yeah. Matrix ball time. 1997 called. Yeah. <laughs> in 1999 was, was when the Matrix came out. Oh, I'm FYI. sorry. Oh, yeah, that's when oh, I well graduated then. college. <laughs> that's um, when I was born. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, stop. <laughs> Did you just say you were born in the year I graduated college? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we're going to pretend we didn't hear that. So, yeah, I, I love the, the signature pose that the S that they've got. Um, I think that it's like yeah. good, like... They they hated their Stacy girls. It's it, their Stacy girls. It's going down, but like we all love that, and I think we're we're gonna similarly love their their new pose that they've got with this music video. It's a good song. I really like it. Yeah, I feel I, like I have. Yeah, they're they're a solid group. I look forward to what they've got in store. Yeah, yeah. The fact that they had Black Eyed Peel some behind them was already you know the the, the what is it like you knew they were going to do well, and yeah, they're really yeah. popular in Korea too. Right? Oh. Yeah. This is how you make a catchy song. I don't think it's as catchy as ASAP or Stereotype. I think those were Agreed. super catchy. But this mm-hmm. is hard still... To, <laughs> to up the... Yeah, it's it's hard yeah. to follow those up. Those are very good. But mm-hmm. I think uh, this is a bop. It, it, I yeah. would say it's, it's day, day to the Bach. Uh, day to oh the Bach. Hear that, Todd? Day to the Bach. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Moving along. Next section. <laughs> 